A long, long time ago, we lived with our families in this land, Australia. We had our own bits of land, just like you and your family. It was our home and we loved it, just like you and your family. We danced and sang and played our music on our land and we looked after our babies on our land. We loved our big backyard, just like you and your family. One day, a ship came from far across the sea. On the ship, there were lots of people with pink skins. Their skins were so pale, they almost looked white. They looked at our dark brown skins and were scared because we weren't pink like them. They saw our spears that we used for hunting food and thought we were dangerous animals. They didn't see that we had feelings just like them. They wanted to chase us away so that they could live on their land. They didn't want to see us dance or hear our music. They didn't want to learn how to hunt and dig for food. They just wanted our land for themselves and they didn't want to share. A great cloud of sadness pushed us down into the ground. Some of us got sick and died. A great volcano of anger burst inside us. Some of us punched and kicked and threw things and got put in jail. And a long, long time went by. Some of the pink people looked at us lying down sick and sad and felt bad inside. They said, what can we do to make you feel better? We said, you took our home away. We love our home. And now we've got nowhere to live. And you never even said sorry. The pink people had lots of meetings. They talked for ages. They tried to share. They gave us little bits of our land back. But they never said sorry. Then some of the stolen babies grew up and told the pink people how sad and angry they were. The pink people felt even worse inside. They said, what can we do to make you feel better? The grown-up baby said, you stole our mummies and daddies and now we can't find them and you never even said sorry. Once again, the pink people had lots of meetings and they talked for ages. They stopped stealing our babies and they tried to help the lost babies find their mummies and daddies. But still, they never said sorry. The pink people still felt bad inside. They tried giving us money and houses, but it didn't make the cloud of sadness go away. They made new rules, so nobody was allowed to treat dark people like scary animals. But it didn't make the volcano of anger go away. Some of the pink people said to their leader, they're right, we never ever said sorry. The pink people's leader said, but I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault and I'm not going to say sorry. That made us feel terrible, and the sad cloud got bigger. It was full of tears. The angry volcano got bigger. It was full of fire. Then lots and lots of pink people started to get sad and angry too. They said, that's not fair. They chose a new leader. The new leader called all the people together, the dark brown people and the pink people. And he said, it's time to say sorry. He said, we're sorry we took your land. We're sorry we hurt your feelings, and most of all, we're sorry we stole your babies. And the sad cloud burst. All the tears fell down and came out of our eyes, but they were happy tears. At last, the pink people said sorry. It was the best day, and we remember it every year, and we have a party. It's better than a birthday. There were so many tears that day, they rained down on the angry volcano, and they put out the flames. Now the pink people said, sorry, we can climb up off the ground and be proud of our people. We can be proud of our singing, our dancing and painting once again. And most importantly, we can build up strong families. Maybe one day, all our babies can share our big backyard, all the pink babies, the brown babies, playing together in our land, Australia. <laughs>